Hey there all craft beer lovers, thank you for joining me for this beer review. Time to head up to Scotland guys for something a little bit different as it would seem. We're going back to Innes and Gun. There you go. We're taking a look at this fella right here. Uh, this is their tequila cask beer. Uh, cask matured blonde they say. Coming in at 5.1% ABV, 330ml can. Uh, with a hint of lime and grapefruit, they say. Uh, so, yeah, it's basically the same on the back and label, and just a lot of text there for ingredients in different languages. So, yeah, Innocent Gun Tequila Cask Beer, matured for refreshment. Yeah, that sounds good. So, I mean, who would disagree, right? So, let's pop it, see what we get. There we go. Okay, bit of smoke. So we're going to pour it into my old coarse glass here. Okay. There we go. Right. <laughs> Okie dokie. So look at that. Looks like a very, very clear beer. Uh, I'm going to pour a little bit more in. There we go. Right. Let's stop right there. We've got to sell one and a half fingers worth of off-white head. Uh, almost no bubbles on top, just a couple of very small ones. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's very clear. Nice carbonation, light straw golden color. There you go, on the nose done. Okay, first up, a little bit of sweetness on the nose, a little bit of a malty sweetness, then... Then there is something else there in the, lurking about in the background. Might be that tequila cask influence. Bit of sweetness. Almost like a little bit of a whiff of a dry herbal nose. Yeah. Spicy, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, I'm intrigued, actually. I'm actually intrigued by this one. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all, guys. So let me tell you, this comes from a guy that, that doesn't really like tequila. To be honest, I don't really like tequila. Uh, not, I mean, it's not really my thing, to be honest, but... Uh, on the other hand, I haven't had a tequila shot in years, you know. Maybe I should return to it someday. Uh, but this one, this is not bad. Again. Mm. Mm. I like it. I like it. It's got a lovely kind of... Uh, Lager-esque vibe kind of thing. Malty, bit of a malty sweetness. But you also got that lovely initial hint of grapefruit and lemon peel. And then you get a very, very spicy sensation. Oh, yeah, almost cinnamon-like. That, 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 that type of the, kind of dry spice there. Can't explain it in any other way. Dry spice. Almost like Cinnamon. I don't know, you know, something like that. Cardamom, I don't know. It's really, really weird, but it's nice. <gasps> mm. Mm. Yeah. There are a lot of things going on in this beer, actually, to be honest. I'm going to pour the rest of that beer out. Yeah, there we go, guys. Don't think there are any sediments, but, you know, let's just give it the old shake around for good measure anyways. Yeah, man. Looking good. Looking fine. The beer is out. We've got a still, we've still got a pink it's worth of off-white head. Still very clear. Final sip, guys. Mm. Mm. 
It's refreshing. It's lager-esque, floral, spicy, hint of lemon peel, hint of grapefruit there for sure. Multi sweetness, easy drinking at the same time. Quite, uh, quite a nice beer, I, I have to say. I really, I really have to, co- uh, you know, commend Innocent Gun for this beer because I know some. For me, Innocent Gun beers can be hit or miss, but this one is a really nice one. I'm going to be very generous, guys. Innocent Gun Tequila Cask Beer, uh, Cask Matured Blonde. It's more lager esque, I would say. But hey, who, who cares, right? For me, it's all about the taste and the drinkability, and this one has it all. For me, four out of five. Thanks for watching.